So here's the thing. Uh, today at the store I spotted these little packets of gelatin and substances that are similar to gelatin, but not gelatin. Go ahead and show you here. Yep. Okay. There you have it. And uh, there's a variety of them, as you can see. They had a special price, too. Three for 200 yen, so of course I had to go ahead and snag some. So colorful. And uh, also they appear to be filled with little tidbits of God knows what. This one has just a big old lump in it. And now I was excited about these uh, until I looked up what they were. And actually most of these uh, are made from agar. Of which the main ingredient is algae. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'll soon know how my body feels about that. So, so I got my jellies, got my aesthetically pleasing plate, and I got my utensil of choice. So I'll get right into it, the sooner the better. Let's see here. Now some of these are, two of these are gelatin, the other four are something different. I'll start with the gelatin ones because it makes sense to me. Okay, this one is Mitsu Mame. Mitsu Bean. I have no idea what that is. Oh. Hey, it's got little fruits in it. If those beans are horrible tasting, that'll certainly cut that taste right off. Because I just plop this. Unless it doesn't want to be plopped. Come on. Not cooperating with me. Oh god. That is kind of not appetizing. It's cool looking though. <laughs> Smells okay. Kind of tastes dry and yeah. Those don't don't belong in jelly. Whatever these beans are, there's this pink thing in here. I don't know what that's about. I have no idea what that is. It doesn't really have much taste to it. Though. In fact, most of this doesn't have much taste. It's quite clearly some sort of orange thing. Move this to the side. Okay, the next one I think I actually recognize. This is a type of Japanese plum. And normally I've seen this put into, um, well, used to make alcohol, like a plum wine. Which is amazing. It's like the nectar of the gods. But in this form, it just seems a bit strange. And it looks like this may have already been used to make sake. Will this get me drunk? This gelatin might get me drunk. Oh, hey, it smells like the plum wine, too. I'm excited now. Oh, that 
that's a good hint of sake in there. And a seed. Okay then. And the rest of these are very ominous. So this one, what is it? Kori Kanoko, which I think means chestnut, but I'm seeing a lot of beans in there. So I don't know. I just don't know. This actually looks really disgusting. Oh no, I think I do see some sort of nut in there. No. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the plate anymore. Just go ahead. Oh, it's hard and it smells. It has this pungent smell to it. Like nuts. It's like nut jelly. It tastes like nutty um that uh, red bean paste that's quite popular here. But with a whole lot of nuttiness. It's a whole lot of nuttiness. Quite good actually. It looks really gross. But it's good. I just noticed with Japanese food, so, um, it's hit or miss a lot of the time. So sometimes it'll look disgusting, but it'll taste amazing. Sometimes it'll look amazing, but taste disgusting. You don't know when you win or lose until you try. And it's the fun of eating Japanese food. This one is tea. Flavored? Yes, tea flavored. Yokan, which is that algae stuff. And the color does not help me to forget that. It's just extremely green. It's like those little slime packets you can get at the quarter machine back home when you're a little kid. With the slime. It just tastes like sweet green tea, but in gelatin form. That's weird. Okay, the next thing here is kuzu manju. First I looked up kuzu, because I have no idea what that means. And the translation came up as waste, refuse rubbish. So that made me excited to try this. However, I looked up uh, manju, and apparently that's made from kudzu starch, which is made from Japanese arrowroot plant. So basically I have no idea what the hell this is going to taste like. don't know anything about that plant. But there's something brown in the middle. Which reminds me of the whole waste and rubbish translation. Okay. That does not want to come out of there without a fight. What the heck? I think this is red bean paste. Which it is. 
This is like mochi in gelatin form. It's a mochi without the mochi. Okay, and the last one, it just says fruit manju. Which is great for me, but not at all interesting. It could surprise me though. Oh yeah, just mandarin oranges. There's nothing special here. and arrowroot and whatnot aside. That was at least interesting. Okay, so now I just have to wait and see what the after effects are of this. No, I'm not looking forward to that. There's too many after effects of Japanese food in me.